get right to it. I've been busy organizing things, getting ready for paint, some paint action. You may notice a new addition. This little guy over here. This is a 3,300 cubic feet per minute exhaust fan. And I've built an enclosure for it. The next addition will be some sort of facing that holds a filter in place, a paint filter. So based on that, you can probably get where we're going. I've decided to actually paint the car myself. Um, the main, two main problems were keeping me from uh, doing it. One was whenever I went to actually do crap, my system was not very organized. I have got some shelves and sorted out that situation. So my guns, I got my guns, I got my cleaning stuff, got my little mixer, doodad, filters right there. That's my neighbor's gun he let me borrow, nice and out of the way, keep it safe. And there's my paint and epoxy and primer up there. All my stuff to mix for the second shelf. And then here's all my basic bodywork crap. And then I got some more shelving down there for just miscellaneous two dads. So, yeah, um, whenever it comes time to paint, I just fire this sucker up after I put up a bunch of sheeting. Yeah, sorry. Bad, you know how bad I am at telling stories. Well, you know, the five of you that watch. So, I'm going to do a uh, makeshift paint booth. I'm going to put some plastic sheeting all up there. Just basically build a plastic box, you know, like Dexter. And uh, that's that. Build a box, and this guy's going to suck out the bad air. I'm going to leave the door cracked with a couple filters. I'm going to build a little enclosure, some, 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 something, something to, something to uh, where I can have the door cracked and then just leave the filters right here and tape them to the, I guess I could just duct tape them to the plastic, who knows, who knows, anyways, um, you gotta filter the air that comes in and this thing is gonna filter the air that goes out so that I don't, uh, you know, kill wildlife or make the planet screw up I don't, I don't know whatever whatever the tree huggers complain about i don't want to make my neighbors mad i'd hate to get overspray on something important that's my main concern really so check this out i'm gonna shut this door give me a minute so i'll flip this little breaker over here it goes sends power to that it pulls air so much, it spins that turbine backwards. Because it's sucking air. I can feel warm air coming down. Yeah. So that's what I've been kind of preoccupied with. I went ahead and put a guide coat on this monkey. I started a little bit on that back fender in the trunk. And uh, my next task is going to be just going around, getting down to metal with uh, my few little trouble spots and sanding it, bondoing it, and then uh, and this, uh, this is the stuff I use. Evercoat non-clog lightweight filler. So I've been work I've been using this whole this whole thing and I use way too much too. I've been relearning how to use uh, bondo. I probably should have only used about a quarter of what was in there. Maybe like an eighth, really. I mean, I've wasted a bunch just learning again. But that's what you got to do. I mean, that whole thing is probably like, I don't know what, 40, maybe 40 bucks or something. So if I was a shop, yeah, that would be digging a hole. But for me, you know, it's a learning cost. It's cheaper than paying for a class. So... Yeah, that's where we are right now.